Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a couple things to share. I ordered these books. These are um, Cher Reiner. She's a designer that, or a decorative artist, CDA, a certified decorative artist. Um, I've seen her work over the years, and I think I have a pattern packet. I'd have to go through my whole big thing, but I finally placed an order, and um, I want to show you. These are... Uh, the thing is, here they go. This is what I was looking for. Uh, Angel Time Designs. It is in San Diego, California. And I think she's a traveling teacher, so she'll, she, she travels to teach. These are 15 bucks a piece. And this is her collection of Santas. And this is her funky folk, folk art in black. Um, they're really primitive designs, you guys. So... This is kind of a uh, super beginner, very um, art journal friendly as well. I think she does, I'm going to have to read and I'll share with you as I go, but it seems like it's a little bit of wet on wet, a little bit of um, just winging it and really having a fun, funky style. So I love that it's called Funky um, Folk Art. Um, so I got that, and then I got the collection of Santas, which I, I just love the checks that she uses a lot. She does polka dots a lot. So, hey, Jin Jin. Um, I, I just decided to get to treat myself. I've wanted to try some of her pieces now. The only thing I didn't realize, because on the website you don't really get, you can't look through the magazine, through the book. Um, and I didn't realize that these were super huge. Wait until you see the tracings. I'll show you. So these are the ornaments. But this is the trait. Look, this is one of the Santas. This is Collections Christmas Keeper of the Gift Santa. That's how big he, hit, he is. So I didn't realize how big they were. Pretty much the whole book is full of big, like these are the feet. So that's just the bottom of them. This is the wreath, which I kind of like. I like the wreath. I might paint that. Then I can hang a painted wreath on my door every Christmas. But that's the snowmen. They're huge. So I didn't realize that. I mean, I'm a little disappointed because I don't really want such big pieces. I thought they'd be more manageable. Like I could put them on the mantle or something. So there's one, two, three Santas, a snowman, and a snow kid. Um, then there's box snowmen. So this is on three boxes. I could probably do that or just use the design on something else, you know. Anyway, um, that was a little disappointing. I, I think these, these are like on different inserts. So this is the frame. And then you can hang their seasonal inserts for inside the frame. So that's a lot. And look, this is like a, a pencil holder, things like that. This is the base of this little Christmas tree with ornaments. I like that. I like this too. I love the little angel. I, I love angels. I collect angels. I have angels all over the place. This is a file folder holder, and I like that box a lot. I like it a lot. Very folk art. A lazy Susan. These are ornaments. Just little Believe, Twinkle, and Inspire ornaments. So I'm happier about that because, and then you can always take parts of the design and use it on other pieces. That's fine, you know, but like, see, this is a manageable size of a snowman, you know, like I could put that on something. Um, anywho, I am also wanting to share with you guys that in my past couple videos, I was doing these ornaments, remember? And something, I found something out that I wanted to share with you. I was, I had shared in a previous video that I used this Dollar Tree black paint. And I was a fan. I was very happy about it. It's a really nice texture and consistency and it went on real well. But what I noticed was when I was finished painting, so all the painting was done and I went to take off my chalk pencil lines that I use as guide for my mandalas, right? So I'm going to grab a Q-tip and I'm going to dip it in water. So I just want to remove my uh, my line. 
so I'm taking it off. Oh, it's not. I wonder if I used a different paint on this. I thought I was going to be able to demo it. Anyway, I just, I threw it. Look at this. I want to show you. Look at the saturation of black. Let me come in. Anyway, I was pulling off the paint like crazy. Look at it. Look how dark. So on these, before, because I think all these are varnished. Let me double check. These are all varnished. I varnished everything. Um, I ended up doing, let me just show you what I did. But anyway, just FYI, I did not varnish with a brush on varnish. So I'm very thankful. Let me go back up. I'm very thankful that I saw that because what happens is if I were to varnish with my regular, I have um, satin varnish. It's a brush on varnish. And I just put it on there and I just started going to town. I would have picked up the black paint from the background and it would have went all over the piece and I would have ended up with black varnish so I would have to take a wet wipe very quickly and get that off anyway I, I took it and I sprayed it with a matte varnish first and then it's sealed and the black paint is not going anywhere after that because you've literally put a coat on top of it so I just wanted to tell you that because I was recommending it and I just didn't want everyone to have a a bad a bad like let me see if this is I think I painted over this with the black let me dip it in the water look yes see I painted over this one with the black paint see how that comes off like I am literally picking up and this is cured this has been on here for like a week it's been sitting on my desk so that I did not realize. So like I said, if I were to just take my varnish and go on top of that, it would have mixed with black paint and become black. And then it would have went right over top of all my dots, especially this one, right? So I did this one in whites and creams. I would have just been varnishing and that black would have picked up and went right on top of it. That's not a good thing. That's a very sad moment because you just put all that work into these. You don't want that to happen. So I'm kind of sad that I told you guys about that. Um, now that I know that, I can work with it. You know, and I don't have any, still at this moment right now, I don't have any black paint other than this. So I'm about to do this big one. I have this big ornament and I'm going to be able to use my bigger dotting tools. Maybe I'll film it. But I have these four bigger dotting tools that I haven't used because they're just super big. So, um, look at that. Ooh, some juicy dots there. So anyway, um, I just want to, and this is more like a, maybe a door hanger. Like I, I forgot to put a hole in it too because I, I cut it on the Glowforge. Anywho, so I wanted to show you, I did some blues. I did these in blue. I'll come in. And I just, I got this idea from one of you guys. I can't remember. It might have been JC or I forget. Jocelyn. I don't remember. Anyway, she said she was going to do it all in all blues. And I've been singing, let it go, let it go. Because this just reminds me of Frozen. And Joe's lights, when Frozen comes on, when the song comes on, it goes very, it's very cool. Anyway, but then, of course, I had to use some of this this is called um glamour dust i want to say or do, 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 do. anyway it's my glitter varnish thing here sorry i've been going i'm gonna oh here it is yay sorry i'm so sorry glamour galaxy glitter by deco art so it's a heavy loaded glitter acrylic. So it's more like a clear paint with, with big glitter in there. So I did a few with glitter because I didn't want to take away from the um, metallic shine of all the top dots. But I think Christmas is the perfect time to use all things that glitter. So anyway, so I did the blues. I did the purples. Now see the difference? This is not glittered. And this is glittered. So it's just a little more flash, you know? And then I did the whites. So I have, um, 
I have way more than this. I don't know where all my... Anyway, here's, here, here's one. So this is not glittered, and this is glittered. One's hanging on my tree, that's why I hung a white one on my tree. So there's so much you can do with, with this specific... Um, the dotting situation, you can... It's Look, I had to add glitter to that. Okay. Anyway, so that being said... Um, one last share I wanted to share with you guys. Um, Maya and I went out to Target the other night. We masked up. And as you can see, I have nails. This one, I picked the wrong. It's way too short. I picked the wrong one. I mean, just because the rest of them are longer. These are, I don't know, some of you ladies might remember, um, press-on nails, right? I forget what they're called. Lee press-on nails, right? My nails are so bad. And I wanted, at the time, me and Maya did them together. Like, she got some too, so we were just sitting doing them real quick. But I should have filmed it and just had one hand done and one not done because my nails were so bad. And I don't know why they just won't grow. They're, I have thyroid issues, maybe that's it. But this is the, the kit that I got. I, I want to say they're from 5 to $7. And I just got the classic French. It says Everlasting French. Um, it's by Kiss. Kiss Everlasting French. Anyway, 5 to $7. Didn't know what they were. Maya chose like a more Cardi B style. Like they were way long. We ended, cutting, ended up cutting them. Because this is real short. That's the length I got. This is considered real short. It's not because I still can hardly pick things up. But this I was the only. So this I got today because we went back today. Um, but I wanted a little more bling. Now these last like 10 days it says. And what you get in here is the fake nails. Let me show you what I got. So I don't know if you've heard of these. But I was going to the salon for my manicures and it was you know it's like 30 bucks i pay like and i tip really well and it's nice but i'm a do-it-yourself kind of girl so i don't mind doing it myself so you get in this set you get 28 nails so that's even enough for two wearings so for a whole month you know 20 days anyway it has a little holder so you kind of pick the one that's going to be the right size comes with a little nail file so you can file them down a little and this one just came with glue her set came with like a sticker too like sticker glue but this is like um kiss pink gel nail glue and all you do is put a little bit on your fingernail and then you put a little bit on here and then you just stick you hold it for like five seconds so i had a little glue all over me at first I think like I washed my hair yesterday look so you can see a little bit of extra glue right there that is not my nail my nails are so short um, anyway so um, I just wanted to share that because you know it's the holidays if you guys want to jazz up your nails and look I'm not claiming they're, they're gonna they do ruin your nails anytime you do these fake nails to your to your regular nails um, you know it's not good but um it's temporary right like so i just felt like being fancy this week so i put them on and i wish i like this one i put on absolutely crooked so it's actually going this direction but i just filed it so that it looked a little straighter and you can't really tell but it's definitely crooked because i was rushing and i was doing it with my and it probably came unstuck and then i just went back to like it stuck to my finger or something and it by the time it adhered, it was crooked, but I love them. And like, I, I'm telling you, they're just like I went to the um, salon. So this is the ones I got. Now this is considered medium. So I just want to see. I think I could still cut the, yeah, they're much longer, but I could still cut them down to be, um, a night to be a more manageable size so they're like a gray and then they have gold so I can't wait I used to love when I went to the salon that I could try all the different um, colors and stuff because I love it so this would be maybe my this finger I don't think they're gonna be too long 
like I can trim them maybe that's my pinky though if that's my pinky it might be a little long like I just I can't do anything with my nails that long so I would have to trim them you know like yeah it's twice as long so I would just cut it down and they just cut like with a, um, the clippers so maybe I'll do it on camera for you girls all right you guys so listen it's Christmas week I'm gonna be crafting still I'm gonna I think I'll do this one with you um, maybe I'll do one first because it's always better for me when I when I know where I'm going with something and um, that's it thanks for watching <laughs>